Hello guys, welcome back once again to this uh, new tarot reading. Um, this time I wanted to do uh, an energy reading for Jenny, Black Pink's Jenny. Um, because I, I have been wondering a lot, I have read a few comments and about the Black Pink video and the video I did about her and I don't know why but I, I have this like this need to connect with her somehow because um, I have the feeling that it's like her circumstances when it comes to ener energetically that uh, need, need like a checkup, you know, like an update because I don't think she she's it's not that she's not doing well. It's just that her energy is like all over the place. And at the same time, I have this question in my head. So I don't know. I'm not a Blink. I'm not a fan of Blackpink. But I have a lot of respect. I know who they are. I know their music. Um, so um, I always felt curious about all the rumors surrounding Jenny. I know that she is an important figure. I know that um, she gets a lot of attention. So, but I have this like always this question in my head that why her? You know, why is it always her? Like, um, because I don't see in her this energy or this diva or drama queen. You know, like that she really enjoys being the center of attention. Actually, I have the feeling that she's a bit more hermetic that, in that sense, that she it, it takes a while to connect with her energy because she is really closed. She's really closed off in the sense that she, when it comes to maybe career and, 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 and goals and professional goals and stuff, it's like it's, it's easy to, to read her. But when it comes to her emotional state, it's not there easy. So I wanted to check on her energy and to see how she is doing. And um, and also if I could get an answer like about, I'm sure that a lot of fans or maybe some fans know what why is the reason. Um, and maybe some don't. So maybe we can we can find out together what's what's going on. What's the appeal of always talking about her? Like, I don't understand. Actually, I don't understand its meaning. I don't understand its point, you know, because um, it's like, um, I don't know why. I, I have the feeling that it doesn't suit her personality to be involved, you know, because there are people that actually have this uh, this almost um, this mischievousness about them that is like they are really spontaneous so they could end up in very like weird situations but when it comes to Jenny I don't see her like that so um, I, I don't know let's see so I did a very quick reading because I don't want to get too in touch with her energy like I said I had read for her like I, I, I believe like it, it it hasn't been a month yet that I've done a reading for her. And i also done a reading for her and Lisa because a lot of people were asking me. Uh, but that, that's what happens with, with Jenny. That's also one thing that I always wonder. That why, why is it always about the, the question or the requests that I read? And not only on my channel, but I read it elsewhere too. It's about... How does Jenny feel about the others? Or how does the other feel about Jenny? So it's like everything revolves around her. So I don't understand why is it so important to, it's like to unveil a mystery. And actually, I don't think there's much mystery. Um, but uh, for some reason, people find her like this mysterious or this, like the, she's hiding something like I don't think she's hiding but she's an introvert so it, it's hard to get into her her energy so I pull a few cards uh, for the archetype uh, cards of Caroline Miss so the first card that came out for her it's the monk nun in the case that she's a female let's go with a nun archetype addict uh, healer and companion 
so I have the feeling that energy energetically she is um she's really reserved and she is really into her own thoughts lately um and actually what confirms this it's the hermit in the in the tarot section uh, but i have the feeling that she had always been like this like i had mentioned in her uh solo reading the reading that i did for her <coughs> I'm sorry if my voice sounds harsh, it's just that I'm going through a cold and I'm starting to recover my voice a little bit, so that's why I wanted to record so I could, my boy, my voice could get used to all these days without not talking. So I'm sorry if I sound a bit uh, harsh or if I cough. Um, but I have the feeling that she is very... She protects herself a lot, actually. Uh, it's like she, like I said, she's so emotional that she somehow is always on a self-defense mode. It's like, I don't know why, but there's this, this misconception that she has almost of herself, like, like everyone will blame her anyway. You know, because we have the nun and we have the addict next to this. So I have the feeling that she protects herself a lot or she shields herself a lot from showing her true self to others. Or maybe from showing this cold, detached uh, character. So you, so she can fulfill your fantasy of thinking that she is the bad bitch that you think she is. Uh, but it's like she struggles really hard to not um, uh, clear things because I think that there's there's something she's really reserved but there's a part of her that she hates when people make assumptions about her or when people start taking the comments in a very like getting to close to her personality or maybe assuming things about her or about her loved ones or about the members that are not truth. I believe that um, she wants to keep that boundary. It's like she doesn't mind to to get the backlash. She doesn't mind to get uh, that you talk bad about her, but she, she there's some limits to that. And I think that what hurts her the most is the fact that she is really different from what people perceive her. But at the same time, she is really wise and she knows that um, she has this kind of aura where, where people assume that she is the bad guy from the, uh, from, from, from the four of them. It's, it's like she... It's like she's a magnet. Like I said, uh, she's a Capricorn. So like I said, I'm a Capricorn myself. So I know that we have a bad reputation when it comes to not be very open emotionally. And sometimes our gestures, especially facial gestures, it depends, we can be a bit um, judgmental, when, especially when our gestures or some are silence. Um, but um, I think that she is really sensitive inside and I think that it's like she is okay for people to to judge her and be like, oh yes, in this MB or in this uh, award show or in this performance she looked like a bad bitch or she looked like a tough woman. But when it comes to her personal choices and her personal environment she's not who you think she is actually that thing about dating and that there are some people that are like oh well she 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 had a lot of dating rumors and she did but i don't think it's not that they were not true it's just that they were like a small attempts a small tries to a small possibilities to get involved emotionally but I don't think she has met 
she had been in a relationship yet. At least none in a very profound and emotionally fulfilled relationship. If because of the nun, the nun archetype. Uh, and I'm not saying that whether she's a virgin or not, I'm just saying that it's not easy to conquer Jenny. And this has nothing to do with the fact that she's popular or she's pretty. No, this is the fact that she is very career driven and also that she has a lot of suitors. Yes, and a lot of people make a lot of attempts to be seen with, with her and with the other rest of the of the course too. But somehow Jenny is like this magnet, it's like it's like the highest price for, for these males. And I'm not trying to be a feminist here, but I have the sense that because she is the female, it's like she gets the bad reputation somehow. You know, um, I, there's something about uh, her emotional and romantic nature that people have no idea. And that's why her relationships don't develop. That's why once the these rumors or once these critics start to pop out or start to come out, suddenly the relationship is done. But it's actually because it takes a while for her to to be like, yes, I want to date you or yes, I want to see you more often. <coughs> so, and I think, I mean, I think about myself in, in, in her age or, or in, in my early 20s and I was like this too. I wasn't like, <coughs> sorry, that I was contemplating my options. And I, um, I know that she is a public image and stuff, but it's like, um, it, it's like I don't understand why people need to judge her because of dating or probably dating because I don't see really I don't see and I would wish for her to find that kind of relationship that she wants and actually I don't think because she's pretty close clothed off um, she she has a lot of barriers around herself and, and I think that it has to do with her image. There's a part of her that doesn't care either. It's like she's really tired to uh, people be hating her anyway. So it's like, it's like I said, it's like she's like, okay, if you want to project yourself or your anger at me because, I don't know, you somehow, it, I remind you of a bully you met or someone that bullied you or some pretty girl that was mean to you in high school, okay, whatever. But you have to be able to see beyond that she is much more than the concept that was given to her. That she's actually really healing and really caring for others. So that's why I wanted to clarify because it's like everyone is like, oh, I want to know about Jenny and this, Jenny and the others. Jenny's, and it's not Jenny against the other or it's not Jenny and the others. It's the group and it's, it's just that she is like, yes, she's like the bait. She, she, because of her popularity, she's thrown out there. You know, she's like, she's pushed to the front. Like, yes, go, go. Be our, 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 our bulletproof. Our best somehow uh, and that's the price of popularity <laughs> so that's that's sad but it's it's how I, f I sense it is and the other cards that came out for her it's healer healer and companion so she definitely has uh, the healer type she has the ability to heal herself that's why I know that she goes through this period of in where she goes into herself because she's like used to somehow thinking that she can handle things on her own or that she doesn't talk about it or she doesn't open up to others because she somehow thinks that she can control whatever is happening to her or that somehow she can control how much it affects her. But I don't think, uh, I think since uh, besides the healer, 
uh, we have the companion card. I believe that she needs others to heal herself. She is a healer by nature. She can be able to heal others. But at the same time, uh, she is like she gathers forces uh, and she becomes stronger when she when she shares with others, when she is able to be like uh, reaching out to others for help, or maybe not for help, but maybe to talk. Because it's not easy to get Jenny to speak up, or uh, not to speak up, to open up about how she's truly feeling inside. But if you're very perceptive, or if you are really warm, like I have the feeling that her friends that know her are really warm, and that they they are able to melt Jenny's eyes with just a warm hug, because I have the feeling that um, that uh, actually Jenny is the kind of person that you don't need to a lot of words to come through her, to see through her. You just need to reach her, and touch her, and hold her tight, because it's like somehow that kind of warmth. The kind of close, closeness is what actually can um, destroy the barriers that she that she puts for herself. It's like somehow for her words, uh, words doesn't do anything for her actually, because it's like she had heard so many words and so many promises during her life that she doesn't believe in words anymore. She believes in action actions and she also believes in gestures and also believes in intention. So if you really want to be with her, um, you can get closer to her and you will do whatever it takes to be close to her. So if you want to be a good friend to her, you have to approach her, just go, just be there. Because like I said, I remember I said in a, in a, in a reading for her that she had some kind of uh, heartbreak from the past about someone that she couldn't be with or that she cannot be with today um, and I think that one of the flaws of this of that relationship was that this person made a lot of promises to her uh, still does especially through messages but when it comes to actions he doesn't move he's really comfortable in his castle so to say He's really comfortable where he is. And every time he has a free time and he reminds, he remembers about her, he, he just texts her, you know, just to, to see what she's up to, to bother her. I mean, to, but to nothing else, because it's like when it comes to actions, he, he wasn't and he is, he isn't brave enough to do something for her, to, um, to build a relationship because relationship takes effort. So if you want to, if you want to conquer someone, especially if you want to conquer Jenny, you have to go all the way. Or at least if you want something brief with her, you have to be honest and open about it because she's really communicative. Actually, she's, like I said, uh, she's not shy. You can be honest and you can be straightforward with her when it comes to males. You can, you can talk to her and be like, oh yes, I'm interested in you in this way and I want to do this. And she will probably tell you, yes, I'm interested or I'm not. But I believe that she is not this femme fatale that everyone thinks, that she goes around being flirty with everyone and, and winking at every male, you know, and being like, oh yes, I got you. She's not like that, actually. She's looking for a profound relationship and somehow it, 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 the opportunity is not there yet, and she's not ready yet because she she needs to work on her professional. It's it's the Capricorn course, you know. You have to work, you have to work at the first years of your life, and then once you are pretty well established, then you can focus on romantic relationships. Um, so the cards in the tarot that came up for her is the Lovers, the Hermit, and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so when it comes to because. Uh, like I said, the first card that you, that you see, and probably people that um, don't know much about tarot, may think that the tarot, uh, the, the card of the lovers, uh, and the name especially, that it talks about 
uh, love relationships or it talks about connections. And actually, yes, it does symbolically in the sense that um, actually the car of the lover, it talks about decision, about making a decision. Uh, it's about choosing one thing or another. And in this case, Jenny is in this hermit mode and she is not choosing neither of the options that are being um, that are being delivered to her because she knows that somehow she will end up losing. It's like, like I said, there's always something to say about her. So it's like she she's in this retreat mode. She's into herself, and and actually when she comes out, actually she's going to be really prosperous because I believe that they are working uh, because the 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 the, the tarot reading. Uh, ends with the Ten of Pentacles. So they are definitely working on material stability or probably she is like um, thinking about new projects or way of making money. So um, there, there are other plans uh, for her when it comes to financial plans and I don't think that you are going to hear about her emotional or loving relationships or whatever uh, but she is protect protecting herself because it's like she's actually fighting between uh, what I want to say and, and how I want to react and not to react at all but it's just because people take whatever they want to take so the best way is not to react actually the best way to leave all this negativity or maybe not, it's not negativity but it's just the assumptions it's like I said people have a lot of imagination and I know that they do because they usually come to see these tarot readings in, in, in order to find out more to gossip about her or to gossip uh, and actually the, the, tarots, uh, the tarot and the archetypes and and the, or the oracles uh, itself, they are not to gossip. They are not to gossip. They are about to give you like a small brief um, perception or panorama about what's going on, but they are not going to give you details that you're not supposed to know. So I, I deliver what I can deliver and if I don't say something about specific it's because the, the tarots don't the tarot doesn't want to tell me or the person that I'm asking about doesn't want me to know me or anyone so I, that's why I love to be a tarot reader because I love to um, to also educate people that have a lot of misconceptions, misconceptions about tarot, um, especially when they want to ask about someone that they do not have the permission to ask about, or especially when there's people involved that probably doesn't want you to know what they're up to. And it's totally fine because we are individuals. Um, so I always am thankful to this tool, I am thankful to the tarot, but I deliver only what I can see and only what I'm allowed to see. And I don't make stuff up to keep, uh, to keep the stance uh, coming to my channel, like a few people think that I, I would do. Actually, I don't. Um, I'm an army, but at the same time, um, really happy about connecting with other idols that I do not know nothing about. And actually it, it, it opens my mind and my perception to different realities, just like the same, the same thing that I experience whenever I read for someone that I don't know. So it's a great experience, especially it helps you to lose all your prejudices and all your uh, maybe when you become too patron patronizing, especially when you are part of a fandom or, or part of a community where everyone is feels, especially in the internet, when everyone feels entitled to say, oh, this is this and this is that. And if you don't agree with me, you are gone, you are cancelled. And you know, we're talking about people here. So we should always have our minds and our hearts uh, open. That's what I do when I try to channel their energy. 
because um, uh, here I'm doing it for free, but actually uh, I, I get paid for this. So that's why I have the free will to be like, oh yes, I want to talk about this or I do not want to do a reading about this subject. So I hope that you enjoyed this, this brief reading about um, checking up on Jenny's energy and I'm really uh, excited to see your feedback in the comment section. I really appreciate your support and thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.